All right, so today we are going to play Canvas with the new expansion, Canvas Reflections. So this will be our very first playthrough. I went ahead and went over the rules with Samantha, just as a little refresher. Uh, would you like to go first? Uh, yes, okay. I would. So if you're not familiar with Canvas um, or the expansion, it, the expansion doesn't add a whole lot of rules, really, other than with the, the cards that can be reversed. But, however, they do add these golden um, ribbons that are going to give you three points each. If you are able to score them, they're going to be printed on the card. Um, and also, I made sure I put all of the reflection cards in this. However, not all the cards from the base game and the expansion will fit in here. So I had to take out like 30 cards. So hopefully we'll see quite a few of the reflections. There's a lot of them that I saw already out here. And I only picked new scoring cards from the expansion. So this one is getting four symbols that match. Four or more symbols is going to earn you a green rabbit ribbon. Uh, if you get two of the tones and one of the hues... So for every two tones and one hue, you will get a red ribbon. So you could even technically get four and two, and that would get you two red ribbons. Over here for focus, if you have exactly three of the element icons in yellow, green, and blue, um, <clears throat> there could be two in one color and none in another color. So long as you have exactly three across those three colors, um, you will get a blue ribbon. Here for the purple ribbon, you just have to have a shape element to the left of a texture element and again you can score multiple ribbons if you have two triangles to the left of two textures okay um, the only difference now is that we start with six inspiration tokens and when you choose to take a card um, before it was always the left one was free that's still the same and then you would put an inspiration token as you went further or closer to the deck. Now you'd have to put an inspiration token on all previous columns. So if I wanted to take from this column here, I would have to put inspiration token on all four of these. Okay, so just the cards that are in columns to the left. So I could take either one of these and I would still only put inspiration tokens there. Okay, Did you said you wanted to go first? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Okay, I'm so going to take either, this one. Okay, so you either take a card or you make a painting. So now these just slide straight down and a new card will come out. And this is another reversible one. All right, my turn. Uh, which one did you take? Okay, the panda on the swing. That was mine. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I am going to take probably this first one here. Okay, and then these all slide down. Thank you. Your no turn. problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... I do like the different pictures and how they flip. Some of them I notice are... Not that much different. A lot of times they're just different colors. Okay. Let's see here. So if I want... Interesting. Um, I think I'm going to want to go with this one, actually. And you can still... Your hand limit is still five cards. So. Oh, is that a whale? Oh, that's from the base game. We'll call you dinosaur. Oh. This one? Oh, no, not that one. The one I thought I almost pulled out. Oh. <clears throat> All right, my turn. Yep. Okay. I will take this one. Okay, there you go. Oh, dang it. You always take the ones I want. Oh, that was the one. Looks like it's a long neck. Oh, at first I was thinking, <laughs> okay, so when I first saw this, I thought of like a weird giraffe thing. Oh. And then now when I just saw it, I thought it was like a cat's butt. <laughs> what? I don't know. It was really messing oh, with I me. Oh, I see it. I'm tripping a little bit. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's like cat's butt. Yeah, cat's butts. I'm going to go with this one here. I would like this card. Hmm. Your turn. 
Okay. Um, I'm going to make a painting. Oh, now, I put okay. one at a time, right? Yeah. So you layer it however you want. Okay. That's the tricky part, I feel like, with this game, is you don't want to... Hmm. Ooh. This is a tough one here. Oh. Tough, a toughie. Well, darn it. That's not Remember, you can have up to five, so you can keep going. If you yeah, want. you know what? I'll keep going. Cause you have three right now, right? Yeah. It didn't line up the way that I thought it would. Um. Well, I will take... Yeah, I know that feeling. Um. Hmm. Well. Which one do you... I'm going to take the candies. The candies, huh? <clears throat> I do like this one, but I think I'm going to try to find a better alternative here. Okay. Um, ooh, you put out some, some stuff here as well that I am not opposed to. These uh, reversal ones make me rethink a lot of things here. Yeah. Hmm. I know there's a lot of options. I know, and I like... Ooh. See, I kind of... I want to take this one, I think. Yeah. Oh, no. I, kept, I thought it was a reversal one. Dang it. No. Uh... uh I know. There's a lot of decisions to be made. I think I'm going to take... That's a lot. I don't like putting that many inspiration tokens yeah. out there. Oh, it's an owl. Well, it's Is an that owl a new one? It's a bird. Yep. Oh, sweet. Oof. <sighs> okay. Well, I actually think I need this one. Do you so need it, though? I do. Can you, you grab it for me? Oh, sorry. I think too far. Then you got the. Oh, these are my inspiration tokens. Yep. Okay. So is that your fifth card? Yeah, I'm gonna have to make so one. So next time you will have to make a painting. Which is <clears> good. <throat> I think I got this figured out. Let's see. I have way too many of a certain color and not enough of another color. So I need a. Oof. I think I'm going to have to take this one, actually. Yes, I will take this one. Again, no inspiration tokens like I want, but I think this is going to actually do me some good. All right, my turn? Yep. Okay, I'm making a painting because I have okay. all my stuff set up and ready to go. Yeah, I'm going to have to make a painting, too. All right, and so this is my painting. I hope they can see it. Well, let's see. Here, put it right it's here. It's a panda on a swing with candies in the air and a flying bed. <laughs> and it's called Thoughtful Delight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so let's see what you score. I'll get a red ribbon. So your red one is if you have two of those to every one hue. So mm -hmm. you get one red ribbon. Yep. There you go. You get a gold ribbon for every texture, so you get one yep. there that's on either side. And then you do not have four matching, and you do not, do you have exactly three? No, you mm -hmm. do not have exactly three, and no triangles to the left of the texture. So you just yep. get those two ribbons there. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I am making a painting, and mine is called Harmonious Strategy. Because my strategy is very harmonious. Oh, so, you see that? It's just a <laughs> bunch of jumbled uh, board game pieces, a fishbowl, and a weird trumpet blowing out colors. Oh. So, <clears throat> for me, I have, because of this times two, I have two hues and two, but I only really needed one anyway. Mm -hmm. So, I get one red for that one. I have exactly three elements. 
So I have one, two, three across these three. So mm -hmm. that's exactly three. So I get one blue ribbon. I do not have four matching, unfortunately. Uh, and then here I do have a triangle to the left of the texture. So I do get one purple. purple. So I get those. Okay. And that's back to you. All right. So <clears throat> what do we have out here? We have the cat's butt versus <laughs> a long neck dinosaur or a weird looking mm. giraffe. It's more of a dinosaur than a giraffe or a cat's butt. I'm, I'm going with cat's butt. Yeah, cat's butt. It's too furry looking to be a dinosaur. The other side is more giraffe. See, I'm just saying it looks more giraffe. Yeah. Gosh, there's so many options. Um, if that was not intended to be a cat's butt, it should have been. I want to, <laughs> I want to redo. Okay. Um, you know what? Give me the cat's butt. I can okay, work with you that. You can have that cat's butt. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Another one. Ooh. Okay. I kind of want those back. So I think I'm going to take these just because I'm going to want some inspiration tokens. I'm not really crazy about the card. They do have a variant. So in the, in the base game, they had like a solo where you played with Vincent. Now you can play with Vincent in a two-player game. That kind of helps you get rid of some cards so you get to see more of them but it's weird where you have to take so you take his inspiration tokens and you shake them up and you see how many come face up it's, it's interesting but oh. i didn't throw it in there just because um but they do have that variant if it's like oh i don't get to see many of the cards you can see more of them oh, okay hmm <clears throat> decisions yeah lots of <sighs> decisions well Hmm. Interesting. Oh, you, you don't have to put this on there then. Oh, that's the right. The first column's always free. Okay. Hmm. All right, and we have this one. So the other one had one row, right? Yeah. The base game. I meant yeah, I just had one row of five. Oh. So before you had five, now you have eight. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's how they do that one. Um, my turn. So I am going to go with, oof. I do kind of like that as an option. Although I, I have so many yellows. I don't want more yellows. Um... I would get, I guess I will take this one for now. Maybe I can get something else better later on for my next turn. All right, let's get this one. Okay. Yeah. Your turn. I don't feel like I'm doing very well, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah, this game is very interesting in kind of the way that you have to plan. Um, right. Because <laughs> you may line it up and be like, oh, that's not right. Um, dang it. Same. I have four at this point, so I have one more before yep. I can make a painting. And I will have four as well. Better use those inspiration tokens. I know. That's why I'm like... If you need to get something. Right. Hmm. Something real good. Yeah, move something up for me. <laughs> Please and thank you. Because that one's exactly three. <sighs> one, two, three. Darn it. I'll just take this one. We'll yeah, see. Could do that. <sighs> so you took the free one. Mm. Let's see here. Anything good. Ooh, I think I found the anything good. Well, the only thing possibly good. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put two here, and I'm going to take this one. 
So. Ooh. So you take that one? I'll move it down then? Yep. Okay. And then it's your turn. Oh, I'll get, see, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just the way. Go ahead. Okay. You can go. Are inspiration tokens worth points at the end? I don't think so. Oh. If I remember right. Maybe they're tiebreakers, oh, if I remember okay. right, from the base game. So hopefully we won't have to worry about that. Oh. There is an interesting variant I'll tell you about with this expansion. Um, yeah. If it is tied, whoever has more inspiration tokens wins. Okay. So it is a tiebreaker. I'll uh, tell you about an interesting masterpiece variant in this game. Which I think I would hate, but I'll let you decide if you would like it or hate it. Okay. You making your painting? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. See, they're nice that you can flip them, but then it just gives me way too many options. Some and more then AP. Yeah, like very AP prone <clears throat> for this. Okay. Well... You want, oh, yeah, it is your oh, turn. I can't go work. first. <laughs> uh, I have to start thinking about what I'm going to do next round. Maybe I should never have taken this card at the beginning. I took this card at the very beginning, and it is not that beneficial. Hmm. Oh, darn it. Okay. This well, card I should never have taken. <laughs> I will make my painting, even though I feel like it's not quite complete the way that I want it, but that's um, okay. Nothing can be perfect, okay, Picasso? <laughs> All right, this one, I have a oh, dolphin yeah. <laughs> shooting oh. out of the water with was Saturn. Distant, I'm guessing that word was distance. Distant, it says distant expanse. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what you get. So, do you have two and one? No, no you do not. Do you have four matching? No. Short. Do you have exactly three? No, you have five. And you have one triangle. So it's a one purple yeah. ribbon. That is a rough painting right I there. Know. So you got kind of stuck with that one. Yeah, I did. All right. For me, mine is called Watchin' Game. Right there. So for this one, I am going, I do not have any red. So I can't, I'm not going to get that one. I do not have four matching of the same symbol. I do, however, however, have exactly three elements because I have one triangle and two textures, so I get one blue ribbon for that. And I have two triangles to the left of two textures, so I get two purple ribbons for this one. So I get two purples. Oh, and then I also get... Uh, for each texture, I, on this one, I get a gray ribbon. So I get two gray ribbons. So I get one blue, two purple, and two gray ribbons for this painting. Okay. And then it's back to you. It's your turn. All right. Hmm. Decisions. <clears throat> Okay. How do you have three paintings? I still have that many. That I mean, one I only did two. You have to do three. Really? Yeah. Until I, I remember when I went over the rules, you put three in there. I didn't think you had to put three. Yep. You put three in. Um. Well. This, I don't know why you wouldn't, but. I mean, this one's not going to get me anything. Oh, okay. Well, That's at least then you can like... take another card. And then you get uh, an extra card to kind of make a really good painting for your last one, well, hopefully. Well, I don't think this would add anything. Did it change anything? It's just an added symbol. Uh, it would. It would give you an extra purple because now you have two triangles on the left of two textures. So oh. last time you only got one purple. Okay. So you get one more purple. And yeah, I think that's, that's the only thing that would change. Okay. Yep. So it actually because I flipped yeah. that one, it right. was on the other side. Okay. okay, so now it's your turn to take a card. Okay, so I am taking let's see, I have to put a lot out here to get oh. what I want. 
Do you? Okay. Mushrooms. Ooh. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, I think this is going to potentially change up my thought process, potentially. Maybe, maybe not. I think I'm going to go ahead and I am going to take this one. This might be good. We'll see. I'll take this card here. And then these all slide down. Oh, the other one was supposed to be too. Which one was on What's top? What's the reflection to that one? This one? Whenever you see those with a little R symbol, those will tell you they're from the expansion. So that's oh, your turn. Okay. <clears throat> well. Ooh, I do like that. I do like that. I might have my final painting, but I don't know if I want to jump the gun right now. Okay. Um, that is up to you if you would like to jump the gun. <laughs> All right, here, this, this, I want this one. Oh, that was was that the one you wanted? Yep, it was going to work perfectly with my painting. Oh, sorry. It was going to be absolutely perfect. <laughs> you ruined it. Sorry. Okay, let's see, what do we got here? Okay. I have a decent painting. I need a, I need a third good card. Ooh. That is, that would actually work for me if I were to take that one. Um, why not? Let's take it. It will complete, it'll give me a decent scoring one, but at least it'll give me some inspiration tokens to potentially get something better. So, or at the very least, if we tie, I'll have the tying vote. All right, and then back to you. However you wish to do that. Mm. I could get rid of this one. Ooh, maybe. Maybe that would work. Hmm. What are you, are, you make, are you finishing up already? Early? I only have one more mm. that I could possibly get. Yeah, that's true. Um, but I don't know. <sighs> <laughs> Interesting. What are you thinking? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Fine. I'll just, we'll see what happens. I'm just going to do this. Wow. Giving up all the inspiration tokens, huh? Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to, it would really matter. Okay. Okay. Now here's the thing. I can get probably, I can get one, two, three. I could get three ribbons, it looks like. Could I get more than three ribbons? That's the only thing. I don't think I would because I don't see anything else that would actually probably benefit me. Now, oof. Nope, that would cover up. I cannot do that. Or I could. Ah, uh, nope, it wouldn't make any difference. So I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take all the inspiration in case there's a tie. I don't think there'll be a tie, but I figured why not take a billion inspiration. Oh, you're that confident? I mean, I feel pretty good <laughs> with the paintings I have. So now it's up to you to go ahead and make your final painting. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to implement the gold one, but I don't know if that's going to be my best option. I don't know if it will either. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could help you out. Uh, no, you don't. Oh, well, I mean, I would if I could. That one's times two, though. So that would be... Well, what, you, what you thinking? 
What you thinking? I think this is the right order. Spider-Man, okay, that would give me, uh, I'd get some points. And they have different scenarios, which I don't remember, I feel, did they, was it, no. Yeah, their scenarios are a little bit different with the expansion. So, in the base game, they had scenarios where it was just like, oh, you can play any combination of these to make interesting, you know, interactions. Mm -hmm. But for the expansion, they have scenarios and they have, um, <clears throat> you start off at like the easiest one. And if somebody meets or exceed, exceeds the points goal, um, then you get to kind of graduate or move on to the next scenario that is beside it. Oh. So you get to like color in the little blob okay. beside that scenario. I guess you could just choose the hardest ones if you want and I'll kind of show it to the camera just so they can see. So like if you meet or exceed these values, these target values, you color in this little blob and just to show that you were able to complete that specific scenario. So that's how they do it. Um, this expansion rule book is very... I mean, it literally only changes one rule. I mean, the setup is pretty much the exact same. The only rule is when it comes to putting out your inspiration tokens. Did you figure out your painting? Yeah, pain? it's not what I wanted, but it is what it is. What we got here? We got Pointless Mishap as the final painting. That is a lot of, it looks like a lot of chaos going on here. <laughs> Shoes with fireworks and a mushroom field. <laughs> So, let's see here. Did you get two of these in one hue? It does not look like it for that one, unfortunately. No. Um, do you have exactly three across here? You do not. You only have two. Four matching symbols. Unfortunately, you do not have four. But and, I have the last one. And you do have that one Times where it's two. going to give you two purple ribbons. Mm -hmm. And also, unfortunately... Your gold does not get you any because it has to be, the hue has to be in exactly next to it. Oh, so come on. Here. So it does not get you any points for Come on. Yep, it has little arrows right there. I know, the but it does. Hey, that's to the left. No, it has to be adjacent. Sorry. I wish I could uh, fudge the rules. I can't. Mm. I can't. I'm sorry. And my final one is going to be called Tranquil. So. For Tranquil, I just have a bunch of birds flying under a lady walking on a uh, clothing line, and there's an open chest. So for this one, um, I have the double for the tone. So I have two tone, and I have one of these hues. If I had another two tone, I'd be able to get another red. So I only get one red. Um, I have exactly three across the yellow, green, and blue. So I have exactly three there. So I get one blue ribbon. I do not have four matching uh, elements, unfortunately. And I do have one triangle or shape that is to the left of the texture. So I get one purple ribbon there. Okay. And so then we get to add up our points based on our numbers of each ribbon. Uh, golds are going to be worth three points. Grays or silvers or whatever the heck you want to call them are going to be worth <clears throat> two points. Okay, so I get nine for red, 12 for blue, so that puts me at 21. I have four purples, so I get 13, giving me <clears throat> 34. And then I have two grays, which is four, giving me 38 points. What'd you get? Uh, 13 in purples, four in reds, and then three in gold. So 20. You said 13, four, and three? Yeah. So 21, right? Yeah, because I thought that last one would have scored me. 13. Oh, no, you're right, 20. So mm -hmm. 13, three, and four. Yep, so 20. I don't know why I said 21 for some reason. All right, now here's the interesting thing. They have an, a masterpiece variant, right? That include these very fancy ribbons. So you can earn these ribbons if you choose to do this variant. 
Although I would not do this variant in a two player game. So the person who ever scores the most points is going to get the best in show ribbon. And then what you would do in this variant is you would choose one of your paintings to present as your masterpiece. And then the group would discuss and decide who had the best masterpiece and whoever they voted on would get this masterpiece ribbon. And the people that would win would be the ones that have the best in show and whoever has the masterpiece ribbon. So even if you, did, if you didn't score the most points, you could share the victory by having the best painting based on your story and your presentation of your masterpiece. Mine's definitely better. <laughs> I figured you'd say that, but um, I don't think this is really um, playable at two players. <laughs> on a swing with candies in the air and a floating bed. Like, who would not want to buy this painting? It just says, it says that uh, as a group, so... <clears throat> The best in show is awarded to the player with the most points. Then each player displays one of their paintings and explains its meaning. As a group, discuss the artwork presented and award the masterpiece ribbon to the player with the best painting. The painter with the masterpiece and the winner of best in show share the victory. So, if we were playing that variant, I would say you had the best in show and we would share. Thanks. <laughs> But we're not, so I did. What? I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> uh, Why can't so, we play with the cute ribbons? So, I mean, it doesn't make sense in a two-player game. It does. We would have to discuss, and I'd be like, well, I think it's mine. And we let like, the people decide. This is not live. <laughs> this is not live. You post, post the right. video, and then they vote. Now, the expansion also comes with this interesting signature style variant, although they do not... Um, this is not recommended to play in a one to two player game. So in the signature style, you shuffle up these signature style cards and you deal one to each person. And what it's going to do is at the end of the game, you're going to score two points for each art card in your <clears throat> completed paintings that match the condition for your signature style card. Okay. So it can score even if it's image or or title is obstructed by another card. So you would like take your cards out of each painting and you'd see if they apply to whatever your signature style is. So for example, this one, you would get two points per animal. So per animal that you had, you would get two points, right? Per metal, per humanoid, per plant, per wood, you would get those points for them. So it kind of, each one of these cards is going to include like a list of all the qualifying different um, art cards that are in the game or even in the mini expansions and even in uh, this, this um, expansion here. So they'll have all the cards listed that will apply if there's ever any kind of question as to how they would score. Okay. So yeah, that's what kind of comes in the expansion, the reflection of the expansion. It's, doesn't add a ton, I mean, uh, other than the one rule change about the inspiration tokens, but that's about it. Um, add some cool new scenarios with some things that you can try to achieve and kind of cross off the list. Um, add, it adds this really interesting, I mean, I love the ribbons, like this is cool. Um, I don't know if I would ever want to play with it unless you were playing with like five players probably. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Um, I think it's really cool with the being able to flip them. Yeah. And so you have a little bit more control. And some um, more options when it comes to making a painting. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, I know one of mine helped me more when I was able to flip it. So right. that was nice. I mean, yeah. I enjoy this game anyway. Um, I think mm -hmm. that that's a cool, um, you know... Yeah. And this is our first time playing, so we'll have to play it a few more times. I don't yeah. know if we'll do a full review of it, just since it's an expansion and everything, and we already did a review on Canvas, so um, go check out that review if you haven't seen it. But figured we'd do the playthrough and film it and, you know, see how it goes. I'd like so. to play with the extra stuff, too. Yeah, we'll, we'll, play, with all, we'll like. play with extra. Maybe we can play this with Nick and Vic or something and play it at higher player counts and add in all the extra stuff. Because, you know, I would have the most animals, probably. Uh, if you got that card. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> so anyway, that is uh, Canvas Reflections. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, click the little bell icon so you get a notification every single time we post a video. And let us know if you like us doing these little playthroughs. We'll keep doing them. I know we've done a few, so maybe we can keep doing those, um, especially with maybe expansions when we don't do a review. This is how we could do it. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.